Hi, David Bean Cooley here from TV Worth Watching. We're doing Best TV tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday, February 23rd. And I, it's not the best. You know, I know it's supposed to be the best TV tomorrow, but it's the most significant, certainly in terms of TV history, which I'm a geek about, is uh, the CW has Superman and Lois, a new series. And if you watch, and I don't expect necessarily that you do they're the CW right now just about every every other one of its dramas is from the DC universe right now and uh, they have already had the actors who are playing Clark Kent and Lois in previous series as guest stars so they're being spun off into their own series um, it's a uh, Tyler, I don't know if it's Hawkland, I think is the way he pronounces his name, and Elizabeth Tullock. Those are, those are our new Lois and Clark. What I'm interested about, first of all, is that there was a Lois and Clark series that ABC did. Uh, uh, Terry Hatcher was a, a very memorable Lois in that one. And uh, that the history of Superman on television goes all the way back to the syndicated series uh, in television's early days. So there's a long legacy of this and just about every decade had one Superman or Superboy or Smallville thing after another. So it's worth looking at just to put it in, in the continuum. But this new version has Lois and Clark they're already the parents of teenage boys. And so it's sort of like half Superman, half East of Eden. There's a surly kid and there's a happy one. And, and then uh, there is, I'm trying not to do a spoiler alert, but what's happening is they think about uh, trying to buy the family farm back in Smallville and they have money troubles. And this is a big dramatic point. And I know it's a superhero drama and I shouldn't get caught up in all this, but couldn't Superman just go to the family barbecue and grab a piece of charcoal and squeeze it and here's a diamond, uh, let's pay cash and, and get the farm. I mean, where's the real harm in that? So. It's like, was it Jerry Seinfeld who pointed out that Superman would always stand there like this and the bad guys would, would shoot uh, bullets off his chest and then they would throw the empty gun barrel at him and he would duck? You know, why, <laughs> why, if you can just have bullets shoot off you, why is the gun barrel worse? But that's the sort of logic you've got to give up to watch this or enjoy the fact that there are those logical lapses. And uh, the fact that they have teenage boys means that at some point Lois and Clark uh, had super sex, which reminds me of one of my favorite jokes, but I won't tell that. So, so these guys, uh, the last, they're, they're a bunch of 70-year-old of, uh, guys, and the last of them is about to turn 70. And so they decide to uh, pool their money and give him a big surprise for his 70th birthday. So they tell him they're going to pick him up at his apartment. That night, he opens up his door, and instead of his friends, there's this beautiful young woman really skimpily dressed who said your friends paid for me to come to you for your 70th birthday and give you a great night of super sex and he said what's the soup <laughs> <laughs>